Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Art Malatsky, WB2WFJ, in Killington, Vermont. I want to talk to you. I need you for work all states. Okay, um, he is curious. There was... Um, a recent Ask Dave article, and I've got mine here for reference so I can remember what I've talked about. This one in the June edition shows what happens when you bend a dipole like this. When you can't quite get it straight, so you bend it like there might be a giant tree here or something like that, or maybe an outbuilding, and shown that the radiation pattern uh, changes to be more along this axis right here. Well, he asks a follow-up question to that, and unfortunately, there are a multitude of scenarios that would fit in this. He says he would like to expand the pattern, however, to the pattern that might be generated by antennas that must zigzag back and forth or simply bend back on itself at an acute angle. Uh, some configurations he's had to do from time to time. How does this affect the pattern? Well, remember that the first rule of antennas is this. Everything affects everything. So let's take a look at these antennas. Now here's a dipole like this. Okay, the pattern is going to be out and in a little bit along here and out like that for a real antenna. Okay, this is not the idealized version you see in the license manual, but this is one above real ground. Okay, now let's suppose we do this. We're going to get slightly more in that direction and slightly less in this direction, but not enough to bother with. Now what happens if we have to fold part of that antenna back on itself? So you've got an antenna that may be like this, and because of circumstances, you can only like go like that, okay, then you feed it in the center. What happens to the radiation? Well, the standard radiation would be this sort of thing like this, the potato shape out there, and note that the gain is not zero here, it's just a little bit less than here. What will happen is as you move this around, you're going to tend to move the outer parts apart. So that means that when you have an antenna like this, you end up with not quite as much in that direction, but more in this direction, and so on like that. Okay, so it moves it toward unidirectional. Now, the only unidirectional antenna that we use commonly in ham radio is a vertical. It radiates outward in all directions, but doesn't radiate up very much. Okay, this gives you a similar pattern. Note that one common zigzag antenna is the inverted V, because it's an upside-down V. Why don't they just call it an upside-down V, because... Somebody who was writing back in those days thought inverted sounded better. Okay, so that's an inverted V, and this has a more omnidirectional pattern than a classic dipole, meaning that it still tends to favor broadside, but it will go out this way, so you'll have slightly less broadside, slightly more on the sides, and that's not always a bad thing. The, uni the uh, unidirectional pattern helps you hear signals from, from uh, everywhere. Um, even if you were to go look at uh, my DX Commander, the 40 meter element goes up and comes back down slightly. Okay, so things like that work fine. Uh, the antenna works fine. And the bottom line here is although everything affects everything, some things don't affect it as much as others. So, remember, everything affects everything, height matters, and so on. So, there you have it. Uh, your antenna will probably radiate just fine. Uh, yes, there will be a little squirreliness in the uh, resulting pattern. Uh, 
If you've watched this video this far, please subscribe. I really need those subscriptions. It tells YouTube that this is a good channel. And also, please click like and go to decathlon.com support and throw a little something in the tip jar or join Patreon. Uh, both of those things are great ways to support this channel. Pay for the assistant or the intern who is uh, helping film this video and doing the editing and so on and so forth. So, until we next meet, 73.